Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here at SD Fish and Sifts, and I'm standing in front of two of my favorite lures right here. I got the flat fall and I got the Colt Sniper. So today's video, I'm taking a look at fishing the flat fall and the Colt Sniper over the years. These are two of my favorite lures, very versatile lures. I've caught everything from rockfish, halibut, ling cod, green ling, bluefin, tuna, yellowtail, a little everything on these lures. So before you get into the rest of the video, make sure you smash that subscribe, pound that like, show love and support for the channel. Thank you for all the love and support. All right, so start off the video here. We're going back to October 2016 on Freedom Boat Club with Captain Nom. And he introduced me to uh, these lures. So here he is picking up on Benito <laughs> on the, the flat fall there. I think that's an 80 gram uh, blue and orange flat fall that he got. And this was casting out into boiling Benito. And then later on, jigging along the bottom, that same flat fall lure, 80 gram, he picked up this yellowtail here. Stoked to get that in La Jolla. Using the flat fall, uh, jigging it along the bottom, almost yo-yo style. So there was some flat fall action back in October of 2016. Here it is, he's getting another uh, Benito. It's wide open Benito this day. Got the gaff cam going. So same thing on that flat fall, that 80 gram flat fall. And then here it is, when I took the solo skiff down the Coronado Islands, July of 2018. And this was on I believe it was that 160 gram glow in the dark flat fall jigging in front of Pukey Point and it hit on the drop as I was dropping it through the schools of yellowtail were suspended about halfway through the water column. So got a gaff shot on it and brought in that Coronado Islands yellowtail from the solo skiff was stoked on Cold that. Fiber to get that and then here it is sport boats i started using the colt sniper you need back up switched out that hook the treble hook on okay. the colt sniper for the two assist a little hooks. too aggressive with the colt sniper and we got into wide open yellowfin tuna bite on this trip and Time it was just non-stop action with the colt sniper on the yellowfin so this that was super that was kind of my first experience on the sport boats using the cold sniper lure you can see it right there it was all chewed off the paint came off of it but i believe it was like the yellowish and, and brown one I'm not sure what the name of the color is but rare very good lure cold sniper and then they say to switch out the treble hook on it and I, at this point in time like i was saying i was using the Oh, he's on the jig! He's right on it! I was it. using the assist hooks. Let it go! <laughs> Desi the deckhand ah, was always it. Was giving me a hard time I telling me to back up with the cold right sniper that I'm getting too aggressive with the cold sniper, so that was pretty classic. I actually caught two in one cast on that trip. Here we go, and then it's back to I was using the flat fall now. Oh no! This is cold sniper action with some calico bass. Something's coming through. Ready for Solo the skiff in La Jolla. Get ready for the cold. Working it. Same thing. Another, Another calico, calico bass cold on the cold sniper here. Just fishing that same cold That's sniper I was using on the today. sport boats on the solo skiff with calico. those assist hooks on it. Cold sniper. Not what I'm looking for, but I'll always take pulling on some fish. Sand bass then. Picking up that's next up. Got the sand bass going on the cold sniper. That same cold sniper. Uh, that was a 80 gram cold sniper. So that is the 80 gram flat fall that Nom was using, and then the 80 gram so now here's when I switched it over to the 160 gram glow in the dark flat fall, Shimano flat fall. So I would use this with a piece of squid chunks there on the assist hooks and drop that down to the bottom and jig it along the bottom and got a whole variety of fish. This is a link cod here. 
There we go. Out front, Mission Beach. Little wing caught action. Pulled up the keeper wing caught. Making I was super happen. stoked on that. So that came Mission on the 160 Beach, gram. Skiff. Glow in the Get dark. That lane caught. Shimano flat fall with the chunks of yeah. squid on it. Or that at that point, it looked like I was using chunks of mackerel. So here it is, oh, just God. doing that same grind. Whatever. Getting the rockfish. There's a tree rockfish that I'm getting with that 160 Take gram away, flat fall. I was using this jig a ton at this point in time. This was in 2019 and I was just using it along the bottom for a whole Quite variety. Good. Same thing, it continued into 2020 here when the rockfish season opened up. Nice, Got red. the white fish there going. And got some nice vermilion That's red rock I'm fish right about. here on Just that a beautiful red flat fall vermilion number two a little smaller another red rock fish not a monster but i'll take it We're red back on the vermilion spot. that's what i like side hooked foul hooking them side hooking them Sculpting, every baby. which way Minimum 12 ounces. Next up, got the sculp in here. You gotta be careful with the sculp and they're poisonous. Add to the variety pack. Little sculping in the mix. Another one, nice looking red. No, that's another sculping. Another sculping on that 160 gram nice. flat fall glow in the dark. Another variety tree fish. Tree rockfish. Tree rockfish. One of my favorites. Big old lips on that thing. Tree rockfish. Old lips fish. on it. Classic. All right, chilling in front of OB. That's it for the. We got eight, rock eight rockfish rock along the bottom using that eight. flat fall 160 10, gram glow in the dark with the squid it. on it. I was getting the squid from Summit Gas, or they also sell uh, shrimp there. Got a tree. Tree rockfish. Flat fall right here. Working that same lure. So here's I'm going with my setup. Nice shrimp on one of them. Whole, whole shrimp. On the other one. Whole nice squid on the other one. They're still nice and ni drop nice down. and frozen and drop that down. Got something nice. No big ass calico. Big chunky calico. Nice monster that's what i'm talking about you just like the hat got a red on small Fish little red two. got a vermilion got one i'll take it smaller size another small little rock fish bigger, bait, bigger fish hopefully Dang, another one i didn't put even the feel. big Chunky pieces on, mini. standing up, fishing. Got another one, three. And just picking through, awesome. just grinding through all these fish. That big, nice size tree rock fish. So we, what we really want. What I really want is that halibut, yes. boom. Here we go. So I was doing just all the same stuff that I was doing with those other fish. Same spot, same bait, same technique, just dropping along the bottom and drifting it so that it doesn't get snagged on the bottom, oh, but it's, it's bouncing up and down and just barely on the bottom. Sure feels and sure like enough, it. my time came and got the halley bit. All right, I'm gonna have one shot to stick this thing. See Only one shot do. to get this. This is my personal best halibut right here. March. 2020. Here we go. Floating it up. You can see that jig. The flat fall, 160 gram 
glow in the dark. There we go. So stoked on this fish. Especially for how much time I had spent fishing that lure. Finally got a nice halibut. <laughs> yes! PB Halley. Just absolutely loving life with the personal best halibut. There we go. Oh, almost getting out. Give it a little whack down. <laughs> yeah. And then in May, I've went out, took the solo skiff to the nine mile bank, and all of a sudden when I'm coming in, the bonito start foaming and blowing up around me and hooked it on the 120 right. gram number two. purple flat fall. I mean, um, Colt Sniper. This one came on the Colt Sniper. Wow. On the Colt Camera sniper, got turned baby. around when I was going for the gas yeah, shot. Good. Reverse head. This is when I was fishing shot, hard on the solo skiff. Boom. Colt Sniper. Yeah. That was a very memorable That's fish. That's what I'm talking about. SD baby. Solo skiff. 2020. Wow. So next nice. up, I took the flat fall that caught. 160 gram up to Northern California, oh, wow. Shelter Cove, and caught my Look first kelp greenling. Is that a greenling? On that lure. No bait or anything, just bare hooks. But wow, I was stoked to get just fish. another variety fish getting on that lure. Later on, Here we on go, that trip, fish. ended what up pulling got? up this beautiful big Polypic red uh, vermilion rockfish on same thing on the 160 gram flat fall, nothing on the hook, just bare hooks. Red. I was fishing my Tranks 500 right there, braided wow. line. Look at that bad boy. Beautiful yeah. fish. I love Shelter Cove in Northern California. Sick. Barracuda. Then right I was here. back in San Diego over in Point Loma Kelp in June of 2020. It was on that quicker And retreat. was getting Barracuda with that 160 gram flat fall by casting, and then they were hitting it close to the surface. So I didn't really have to Just let it drop it. for very long or very far. I wasn't jigging it along the bottom. I was just casting it out Fast and then retrieving it. A lot of times they were hitting they it on the drop get down, try to get to before the I even started the retrieve, but I could do a faster retrieve. Boom. Boom. Hitting it. So much fun. Just another right, we're calling species it good of after fish that on that, that same crazy. lore. Mark, and here fish. we are evening time another in La Jolla. Back to the Colt the, uh, Sniper. Cold the 120 jig. gram Let's purple one looks like oh, right there I have assist for. hooks on it and then I switched out those assist Yee! hooks for a treble hook we're here I'm back on Freedom oh, Boat Club grand. with Nom at the Coronado oh, Islands in June of 2020 and hooked up to a nice yellowtail on the Cold Sniper this was on the retrieve I was cranking it in, jigging up and down, up and down through the schools, and then it hit it on the retreat. So, so stoked. I love fishing with Nom. He's taught me a lot about fishing. He fishes hard, has a lot of experience. Hell so yeah! It's all good. The rockfish on the cold sniper. Then it's back to the rockfish grind. Picking up rockfish. And then all of a sudden, this evening, I came across a bunch of white sea bass. A ton of white sea bass here. And I was here. jigging the cold sniper, wow. that same purple 120 gram. You need to get a bigger one. Uh, straight up and down, just dropping it. And they were hitting it on the drop. They were hitting it on the retrieve. They were hitting the live bait too. But I caught, they were all short white sea bass in like the 24 
to 28 inch or 26 inch range 28 is the minimum so i didn't get any keepers this night which is kind of a bummer but that's how it goes when you're fishing sometimes beautiful sunset on the water fishing the solo skiff and back bonito. to the daytime and pulling up the bonito, bonito working the hard ball. in la jolla august of 2020 Back on that right 160 away. gram flat fall, Get him in the cooler. catching the Benito in La Jolla. Ceviche this one time, came poke time closer up to the surface, not having to drop down too far. We'll put a head Bringing on Bringing it up side. with those chunk chunks of other. squid. Back on that bottom grind game. Ready to drop. Trying to get some right, of the bottom fish, fish and coming away with rockfish. Tree rock fish. All right, fish number two. One of my favorites. Tree rock fish. Big old lips. That chunky calico. September in La Jolla getting the calico. Uh, flat fall. Yeah, here, I'm gonna help you out. Get that jig out. And then May of last year, 2021, on Malahini, early two? season sport hey, fishing. Yeah. Cold sniper was doing damage. On the sport boat to the Benito there, there's <laughs> on that one of the guys sniper. bouncing over the rail. I got one on the cold sniper, and then this is where I got my PB. The personal best, Bluefin Tuna, June 20 last year, 2021, Sea Adventure 80. Here's the first one, dropping straight down. 140 gram cold sniper off the stern, straight off the back in the afternoon. Yeah. Got this first one, probably like a 70 pounder, 80 pounder on that blue and pink. We were calling it the Cape Pink Perry color on the Avid LX uh, reel, Shimano Therese rod. So stoked on that. And then cut off some of the line that was chewed through. Drop first drop. Straight back down on the stern and got bit. Again, back-to-back -back drops on that cold sniper. 140 gram, purple and blue, and just drop doing down. work uh, on the they rail hit it right here. on the drop. It's a nice Hard one. The first one was a nice fish, one too. This one's taking in. line. I'm gonna put you to the Ooh. test. Make sure that you got the right Let's gear, go. leader tied on. I was on uh, 60 pound mono leader. I really hope not. I'm just joking. <laughs> I couldn't believe we had a seal out here Classic earlier. Captain Rob. Yeah, yeah, doing some Okay, guys, you're going to want to be on that side of the boat. And like, if you have a jig, doing it's probably one thing, but on sir, the with the sinker rig, you need to be on that side. Unfortunately. Worked hard this summer oh, for Leonard, this fish. You're gonna get, if you get bit, you're going to get wrecked. It almost looks like you've done this before. Right? I'm talking about it. Oh, but that's what I was telling everybody else. Time on the rail. All day. Okay. All and just have faith that it's gonna happen. So I got that bite. I lost that one early. Didn't get a bite all day long until just now. Then I get two. It's all about time on the rail. Get it. Get it. Got it, get it to it. color, and then my boy Nico and Connor getting the gaff shot. Yeah. <laughs> so stoked. Let's go. The rail for a second, okay? Oh, yeah. Over 100 that pounds. That is dope. Let her go. Yeah. Over the rail. <laughs> On the Colt Sniper. Uh, Love that awesome, lure. Thank you, thank you. There it is. Fish's the mouth right there. All right, Just after the second one, look at the up. jigs all over. bent up. After gnarly, you gnarly, gnarly two personal best tuna. tuna. And then, last one here was September Dang. of last year, 2021. I was on Freedom Boat Club sniper? down in Mexico. Grind it, bro. Mom. He's grinding. Just grind hard. And boom, oh, he hooks up. Wow. He was casting it yeah. out and letting it sink a really long time, three quarters of the spool. Get hit right here. Yeah, exactly. I'm letting it still let it sink for a while, right, now. As hard as he could, yeah, all, all the way back up. up. Three quarters of the spool. Really? Yeah. Because they're deep, dude, at 80, 100. He's fishing the tranks, uh, 400. You might be bluefin, bro. Yeah, you might have a bluefin. I believe it's on the M1 inshore, Phoenix M1 inshore rod also. Oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. 
go, go, go. There it nice, is. Bro. Cold sniper. Oh man, cold Katie sniper. Perry picking grinding blue. it. No, I'm making it nice happen. Yellow fin tuna on the Freedom Boat Club. Sick, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Awesome, awesome. Great finish. work, bro. Wow. So that's going to do it. That's it. That's all for taking a look at fishing the flat fall and the cold sniper over the years. Hopefully, I can get on some boats and some offshore and some crank on some more fish with these. I got the tuna, big, big dog tuna ones rigged up here with the. 130 pound liters glow in the dark this is a 200 gram with two welded it's got the welded ring hooks on it and then here's the cold sniper that i caught my personal best with some of the lighter ones that's what we're working with thanks for watching one love tight lines mikey sd fish and sifts out you